Well then, Bunny, last week we were going to watch the racially themed horror film Get Out. Yes. Written and directed by the fat one from Key and Peel. <laughs> it was going to be one part of a series of Oscar nominated movies that we were going to cover. Lady Bird, Three Billboards Outside, Who's a What's It, Molly's Game, maybe The Post. So many big serious movies with meaning and purpose. Oh, it was going to be great. Yeah. Then my job of 17 and a half years decided to fire me for no reason. And I'm sorry, but suddenly I'm not in the mood to do serious Oscar winning fucking dramas right now. Yes. I was just freaking fired. I cannot get myself to sit down and watch award winners. Yes. Right. Not. I'm not in that mind frame. I'm not in that mood. What I need right now are some softballs. <laughs> I can't play pro ball right now, yeah. but I'll definitely kick ass at t-ball. Mm -hmm. Training wheels, bunny. Training wheels. <laughs> So I need, for a while at least, to just do some nice shitty movies that I can rip on. Easy movies! Mm -hmm. And what better low, way to low kick hanging off... fruit. Yeah, low-hanging fruit. And what better way to kick off our mediocrity marathon than with this week's film, the 2017 animated sleeping pill, The Emoji Movie! And I have to get this out of the way right up front, okay? I know it's not going to be funny. I know it's not going to be original, but it happens to be fucking true. This movie was meh. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Meh. Meh. Now, now, before we really break down the film, I have something that I am very excited to announce. Okay. Okay. Jokes, Bunny. I have jokes. <laughs> about the emoji movie zingers bunny zingers I have zingers all right and they're pretty good they're not the best they're not the worst they're they're pretty good they're pretty good zingers they're pretty good but singers. but mm -hmm. i haven't said the best part yet what i didn't write these i outsourced the zingers bunny Ah. Oh. So this is what happened. You this is what fucking happened. globalist you. This is what happened. I was on Twitter and I was having a hard time writing the podcast. And I and so I went on Twitter to my like 1000 new followers. And I and I said, just really honestly, I've been trying to be brutally honest on Twitter. So I wrote on Twitter. I'm trying to write the podcast right now but i'm having a hard time trying to be funny yeah. when this horrible thing has happened to me and some and then one the first the first account the first person said well then don't write the podcast you have been through a lot and the last thing you need right now is some invisible deadline hanging over you just don't write it and then someone else someone else wrote back or how about this? Tell us what you need to write. Tell us what movie you're covering. We'll write it for you. Really? Okay. Just just outsource the joke, Steve. What, I mean, we'll come up with some zingers for you. What movie are you covering? And uh, and 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 I said, well, I, we're this week we're doing the emoji movie, and and you know I I don't need you guys to write the whole podcast. I just you know I just need a few well placed zingers here and there so this one specific woman specifically her her handle is at sander strong 16 <laughs> i like the handle you get that what is it i don't get what that is what is it no, no explain it no. i don't know what sander strong 16 is what is that uh bernie thing is unnecessary okay but what is it no no explain it, it is Bella. His you can't bring that up and then not explain it. What is at Sanders Strong 16? What does that mean? 
fine. Screw you, Bella. <laughs> so she, so, so this woman who said that, you know, I told her that we were doing the emoji movie and she said, okay, give me one hour. Okay. And then 45 minutes later, she gave me four, uh, good sized zingers. Nice. Yeah. So, so again, these zingers came from Twitter user at Sanders strong 16. There are four zingers. And I've got them right here, and I'm going to be reading these zingers to you that I outsourced. All right. I'm, I'm, Zinger I'm number one. Yeah, I'm very, I'm excited too. I've never outsourced the podcast, so yeah. I'm excited about this. Uh, zinger number one. If I wanted my kids to get a lesson on pro corporate consumerism, I would have saved the nine dollars and taken them to the Apple Store at the mall. Nice. That's pretty good. Nice. That's a, yeah. Zinger number two. When faced with using an emoji now, I'll be using words like the old days. When words like creativity, originality, and independent thought used to matter. That's strong. That's less of a zinger and more of a strong political statement, but yeah, still. And, it, and, it, and it's probably funny, but I didn't get the words she was using. Yeah. Uh, zinger number three. Over time, history will judge the emoji movie harshly. Oh, <laughs> it's judged harshly already. Jesus, just go to the freaking Wikipedia page. <laughs> but we can't really be surprised as it barely meets the lowering standards of Americans who ultimately gave Trump a path to the presidency. <laughs> So in that sense, so in that sense, this isn't the animated movie that we n needed. Just, it was the animated movie we deserved. Yes, this was the Fergie of animated movies, basically. <laughs> Zinger number four. I like this one. This really ties together with all the other things we've been saying over the past couple of weeks. In retrospect, the emoji movie could be the linchpin clue as to why young people are eating Tide Pods. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it, and you know it's likely true. <laughs> Those are my four zingers that I outsourced. They were written for me. By Twitter user at SanderStrong16. I have followers on Twitter and they want me to succeed. And that's awesome. That is awesome. And, and is she a listener? I hope she's listening. That was some good stuff. She'll probably be listening now. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're going to have to outsource to her again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. The Emoji Movie. Yes. Here, here, the here comes. Here comes. Emoji movie. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. We're I'm we're ready. gonna talk about the emoji movie now. Okay. Ready. Okay. Can, can, I can do this. I can do this. So let's I talk really about the emoji movie. Me. No. Me. The next. The next thing I'm going to say, I am not proud of. <laughs> okay. But I'm gonna say it anyway because it needs to be said. This movie isn't that bad. No, that's why I give it a uh, that's why I give it a meh because that's like how I really feel <clears throat> about this about this movie. It's just it's just meh. Again, I, I would be happy to watch it if I was stuck in an airport. Yeah, or or like you're in the hospital or yeah, or something like that. Yeah, the film's biggest crime is that it's. It's a very basic paint by numbers animated movie for kids, but it's in no way the worst movie ever. People like the reviews of this are just absolutely atrocious. And people say, oh, this is one of the worst films that's ever been made. Bitch, you've never seen Birdemic, have you? No. <laughs> oh, the emoji movie is the worst film of all time. Clearly, someone didn't see The Room. Yeah. Oh, this is the worst film of all time. This is what you need to do. 
go to Netflix, watch the Apple in its entirety, Mm -hmm. and come back to me. Yeah. (laughs) And tell me how horrible the Emoji movie is. Mm -hmm. Transformer movies. Now, those are bad. Mm -hmm. And and, and where were you seeing these? In in the Netflix comment section? Oh, no, everywhere. Everywhere. Let me explain it to you. Um, All I can say to that is, you know, fucking millennials. Okay, I mean, you know, they don't know what bad is. Yeah, the Emoji Movie got a 3 out of 10 on IMDb. It got a 12 out of 100 on Metacritic. And on Rotten Tomatoes, it got 9%. 9%, okay. And, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Wikipedia calls the Emoji Movie one of the worst films ever made. Wikipedia. No, no, no. I, I got to totally disagree. No, it, it, it wasn't that bad at all. Yeah, yeah. It was it was just trite, you know? I mean, yeah, I, I, I didn't hate it. It was just it was just like I've kind of seen this before, you know? Yeah, but worst film of all time? Uh, no, you're you're tripping. Yeah, if you think this is the worst movie of all time, hell no. <laughs> Go back and listen to anything from the month of October. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, except Holy Mountain, I I still like that movie a lot. Yeah, yeah. So the story of the making of the Emoji movie is actually quite interesting. It's very detailed. There's a lot of in and outs. So so here is the story of the making of the Emoji movie. A corporation said, let's make money. (laughs) And that's the story of the making of the Emoji movie. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. (laughs) Nice, so, neat, tidy, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. No, no need to five. worry about it any more than that. <clears throat> so the Emoji Movie, horrible reviews, universally pan, 9% on Rotten Tomatoes. Now let me explain to you why none of that matters. Okay. The film cost $50 million to make. And it made $217 million. Oh. oh. There's a sequel. Like, uh, like, uh, oh, you hated this film? Oh, well, guess what? It didn't matter. <laughs> you, the haters are only giving them more. Yeah. It doesn't matter that you hated this film. This film was a huge, massive success. Mm-hmm. And also, all of these bad reviews were no doubt written by middle-aged white men. Yeah, you think? And- yeah, and this movie wasn't written by middle-aged white men. It wasn't written for middle-aged white men. It was written yeah. for kids. Maxwell! What? Come here! <laughs> oh, God, no way. Come here. <clears throat> Come here. Come here. Come here. Can you step over that? Come over here. Yeah. Hi, Maxwell. How are you? Good. Good. You look a little bit tired. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, you and I saw the Emoji Movie together, huh? Yeah. What did you think about it? Uh, I have a part that I like. I need to tell you. Okay. What part did you like? Uh, I like the Emoji because uh, when you said uh, in... A secret room. Uh, someone uh, saw. She was like, when they were leaving, the pooper said, "Awesome, duty to do." Because it is duty. Dino Rockley. Yeah. So you like the movie? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the only review that matters, right there. Thank you, Maxwell. Thank you, Maxwell. Maxwell liked this movie. 
<laughs> media lists it as one of the worst movies of all time. It's unoriginal, but it's not horrible. No. But it is unoriginal. Yeah, no, it's unoriginal. It, 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 yeah. But it's ma, it's not, oh my God, I can barely stand this. This is so horrible. I feel that a lot of people, a lot of people who say that they think this is one of the worst movies of all time are just kind of projecting their hatred of emojis. Uh, or life. Yeah, you or know, life. Either one. I, I, what I'm kind of thinking at the moment is like, it, it's like a lot of the Star Wars ripoff movies. Yeah, you know, like it's like Battle of the Planets. You know, there were a lot Ice Pirates. Ice Pirates. We yeah. have to see Ice Pirates again. I was uh, just about to say Ice Pirates. It's, you know, it's one of those where where it's like, man, this really ain't Star Wars. Yeah, but it's still kind of cool. Yeah. So, I will say though that the Emoji Movie is historical in that it's the first ever animated movie to be nominated for worst movie, worst director, and worst screenplay in the Razzies. Yeah. So there's that. It's historical. The film's all right. It, it there's oh this one person ruined everything and now. Uh, he's on a magical quest to go to these different fun realms and yeah. put everything back the way it was. But, oh, the magic was in him the whole time. And, yeah. oh, this woman was really a princess the whole time. Like, no, there's nothing original. No. And, in fact, <clears throat> how similar is it to Inside Out? Yeah. You know, that was it. They, God, I don't even really remember that movie. Um Something bad happened, and they go on an adventure, and they go to these different parts of her consciousness, and you know. Yeah, I think I remember Inside Out. I think. Yeah, it was a while ago, so you know. I, the Inside Out was the movie where Sardu, the magician, is uh, getting women naked and then torturing them. Uh huh. And then there's a midget. Yeah, the midget was awesome. That was some good CGI. Yeah, that was incredible. You know, I and fucking Freddie Prince, man. What what a pro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry he killed himself. Yeah, me too. I mean, I never thought that when I chose the emoji movie to do for the podcast that I would end up defending the emoji movie, but <laughs> That's what I'm I'm finding myself doing. There were some parts that I liked. I liked when they were uh surfing uh Spotify. Yeah. I found that to be original. I liked that. They were surfing music streams. Mm -hmm. I liked that. Um I liked the part where Pen Pineapple Apple Pen was in the movie. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, Pen Pineapple Apple Pen was in the movie. No, yeah, because no. they go into YouTube. Because YouTube is an app on the phone. No. And I was like, oh, if anything, I'll have to watch this movie again so I can show Eleanor so that when she sees Pen Pineapple Apple Pen, she shits herself. She she's a big fan? Huge fan. Wow. Not not just of Pen Pineapple Apple Pen, but he has another song called <laughs> I Like Orange Juice. <laughs> and it's so good. It's so good. She loves I Like Orange Juice. <laughs> Eleanor has a really strange musical taste right now. Yeah, give her. Yeah. She's <clears throat> only like eighteen months or something. Yeah, you know, I, we can't really at this point blame her for her butt stupid choices. Yeah, you know, I uh, poopy butt. I uh, I mentioned the Emoji Movie on Twitter to my followers because we were watching the Emoji Movie. Maxwell and I, and I got on Twitter and I said, I feel that a lot of the people who have followed me over this past week are only following me on Twitter in the hopes that I'll say something controversial. <laughs> so for all of those people, here you go. The emoji movie wasn't that bad. Yeah. 
And then, oh my God, I, I immediately started getting like uh, some person said that I was going to start a riot. <laughs> some person said that I was crazy. One person just said, you take that back. <laughs> And it's just sorry. I mean, it it's it's an all right film. It, it's not great, but it's not the worst. Well, I've seen a lot of shitty movies. If if any of those people are currently listening, I would like to say you're all really big pussies. Okay, you're all really <laughs> big pussies. We have been through the fucking war, bitches. You don't know what it's like until you're standing up into your knees in mud having flashbacks of of the ah! beast of yucca. Go watch the beast of yucca flats and red zone Cuba and then come back to us with your critiques of the freaking emoji movie. <laughs> Fucking novices. Go back to your house, get on YouTube. <laughs> Search Monster a Go Go, and when yes. you are done, you come back here and tell me how this fifty million dollar animated film was so bad. Prince of Space. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Manos. Yeah. Manos. Even with Joel, that is a horrible movie to watch. Yes, it is. The master would not approve. <laughs> <laughs> that is all I've got for this movie. Do you have anything? I don't think I can have anything to add to that. Okay. Um, well, I'm very excited now to talk about next week. Okay. Okay. Check the cough cough. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so, so very, very excited. Next week, two words. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm very excited because pretty much everyone in the house watched this with me. Okay. I don't know what happened, but like everyone saw this with me. It was me and it was Maxwell and it was uh, Amber and Bella watched some of it and mommy watched like 60% of it before she left for the gym. The majority of the family watched this. And, uh, and oh man, we all we all have a say in this, and I'm very excited because most of the time it's just me watching something. Yeah, but this time I got the whole family involved, and we all just couldn't believe it. Oh my God, Bunny! Next week, Justice League. Justice League. Justice League. Not only that, but I I I did a marathon because. I, I got a copy of Justice League, but then I thought I never actually got around to watching Wonder Woman. So I should watch Wonder Woman before I watch Justice League. And so I had like a marathon. So I'll be talking about Wonder Woman, too, because I've got freaking issues with that film. Really? OK, good. Oh, God, freaking Wonder Woman. Are, are okay. you are you sure you just don't hate women? I. I didn't like that film at all. Well, then you hate women. No, but I'm also happy because Emerald was like, wait, is this supposed to be good? <laughs> and I'm like, thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> I just I just feel that because it was a a milestone yeah. in cinema that people gave it more leeway than they should have, you know. I I, I could see where you. I mean, I haven't seen the movie, so I can't say there, but I could see where you're coming from, definitely. Yeah. And then Justice League, Jesus Christ. Uh, so let me explain the characters in Justice League in case you don't know. First off, there's a uh, Night Owl okay. because that's all that Batman is. That's all that Batman is. He's the Night Owl. From freaking Watchmen. Okay. They they redid the outfit. He's literally just Night Owl now. <laughs> so there's Night Owl. Then there's a Wonder Foreigner. All right. Then there's a Super Corpse. 
Oh, and then there's Peter Parker as the Flash. Yes. Oh, and my favorite character in the whole film, uh, Aqua Bro. Aqua Bro. Yeah, Aqua Bro. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that one of his many tattoos wasn't just like a a barbed wire tattoo around his bicep. <laughs> Maybe a monster energy drink logo on his chest. <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, this movie. I'm so excited to be to to talk about it with you next week. So that is next week. Okay. Justice League, homework. We're going to be uh discussing Quincy Jones interview with vulture.com. I already sent you the link. All right, cool. And, uh, next week we're gonna have a very exciting Steve's historical approximations. We're going to be talking about uh, science and chemistry and nuns' urine. Uh, Very excited about that. But now that we're at the end of the show and we're looking back at this show, uh, I got to say, I think that this was a pretty good episode. I think that this has been a pretty good episode. Technical issues aside. Technical issues aside. Technical issues and screaming babies aside. I think it was a pretty darn good episode. Yes. Maxwell says that he thinks what? Oh, yeah. No, you're just tired. Go to sleep. I concur, Bunny. I agree wholeheartedly. So until next week, I am Bunny Williams. And I am Reverend Steve saying thanks for listening. On, and on behalf of the whole family, I just want to say we uh, thanks for listening. And we will see you next week, you godless heathens. Do, 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 do. 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 Cut and print.